Welcome to lockdown vlog number 26. It's another beautiful day without rain in Rotterdam and apparently our lockdown is extended until um, 20th of May. So that's going to be a lot of vlogs from now on. Um, so if you have questions or ideas for these vlogs, um, well, please inform me in the comment section because I really could use some uh, inspiration. Today's vlog is going to be a bit of everything and there's an announcement at the end. So keep watching. The first thing I wanted to do today, um, this is my record player, of course. I've shown you what I've done is I have removed the belt. Whoa. I have removed the belt. This thing is on a magnetic bearing. So what I'm going to do is give it one push and then put on the timer and let's see how long it takes for it to come to a full stop. Now I did this in my very, very first uh, video. Um, and I thought for today, well, maybe it's just a nice experiment on the side. So here we go. One push and start. And there we go. Let it roll. Okay. Um, a little bit of everything. About yesterday, I got a lot of nice comments, but there was also one thing that I forgot to tell you guys. And what I did, I bought myself a cartridge. And this is a cartridge, especially to play 78 records. So, um, I forgot to tell you yesterday, but this is something that I'm going to install and see if it makes any difference. These things are not too expensive, so that's just a nice experiment. Um, of course, I got a lot of tips for how to deal with the hum that you were hearing yesterday. So thank you for that. And another thing that I wanted to tell you, the record that I was playing yesterday is this one from Frankie Lane, Georgia on my mind. And irritatingly enough, previous owners had the idea that they had to mark their um, records and stick something on the label. Now this is for people who collect these things is of course horrible. I'm not a collector, but um, Please don't do that. <laughs> now that record, if you look it up, because everything of course is on the internet. So here we have that same uh, record, Georgia on my mind, Frankie Lane. And if you look over here, you can see that this is from um, 1949. So this is 71 years old, this record that I just showed you. And still, it got flagged by YouTube and I got a copyright claim on this, uh, on this song that is 71 years old. Now, the reason I'm showing you that, and well, I told you guys I was going to um, tone down on my, on my opinions, but... Um, there is something I wanted to tell because apparently somebody after 71 years is still making money from this record. And now there's nothing wrong with making money from records, but um, it mostly is the record companies and a lot of, let's see how this thing is doing. There's a lot of commotion on streaming services that artists are not making enough money on streaming services. And I think it is mostly the record companies that will give artists a bad deal and not so much the streaming companies. But, um, well, let me stop right over there. This thing is still going strong after three minutes and 20 seconds so yesterday i showed you this nice little loudspeaker and just for fun i decided to 
open one up i told you it was a broadband loudspeaker so just one driver in there and if you look at it there is actually only one driver in there now as you can see they have a little bit of bracing over there in the corners but that's mostly to give it a spot where you can uh, screw in the rear so that's going to go over there there is no acoustical damping in here they did do with the foam a little bit over there but not all the way around so i'm not sure what the idea uh, about that was but this is just a plain simple box one driver and if you look at the cable well there is of course only one cable you don't have to divide anything for mid-range uh, uh, tweeters base drivers there is just one driver i think it looks beautiful it's this this gold metallic um, shine that some of these older drivers have i think it's a beautiful uh, color um, but anyways and this is well it's more like is it wood it is very thin it, sometimes in the older uh, loudspeakers this is just cardboard this is a little bit better and there is a little bit of a shine through on the um, the holes that they put in there because you say well it's all closed up no it's not so is this some kind of a base reflex solution I don't know but some of the sound probably will also be emanating from the rear and I thought it's just funny to have a simple wire going from there to the loudspeaker and all you need to do is plug in your uh, your loudspeaker cable in there these have of course had a different plug than what we have with the banana plug where are you right over here if you can see this now of course one advantage of this kind of uh, plug is that you could only put it in one way and i still see people uh, changing up the red and the black um, cable so this was probably a pretty good uh, solution that we don't have anymore um, so what is he doing as you can see they're still going strong at six minutes and 52 seconds i did a test this morning and it took 15 uh, minutes and i don't even know if i have a program for uh, so much time so let me tell you about um, one other thing um, today I'm also going to upload a second video and that is not going to be a vlog but this is going to be another actual video and the interesting thing is that it is a video like a room tour from one of my subscribers Ronald and there's a lot of youtubers audiophile uh, audio youtubers you probably watch all the different channels and it is popular at the moment to show and demonstrate um, setups from viewers now mostly what they do is have you sent uh, a, a, a few pictures to them and they will show the pictures and tell something about it and then they do maybe five or six um, setups in well 10 minutes something like that and then there's of course people like steve gutenberg who can um who of course has a nice network and he has his buddies with the the crazy good systems and he can go there that's not something that i am able uh, to do 
So what I wanted to do is a room tour, but because you guys are scattered all over the world, Canada, Australia, um, uh, England, America, the Netherlands, Germany, and a lot of more places that I'm probably forgetting at this moment. But what I wanted to do was a kind of room tour from people all over the world. Of course, I do not have the possibility to go there. So what I um, thought of was, well, maybe if people just film their own system, send over the, the video file to me and I will make a movie from it, a room tour of your system. And Ronald was nice enough to help me in this experience because there's a lot of things that I had to find out about what, well, in what way I'm, am I going to do that. I did not want to do seven uh, systems with just a few pictures in 10 minutes i think if you have a nice system it deserves much more time so that's what i'm uh, uh, aiming for having you guys film your own system and then sending the uh, the footage to me and then i will make my movie of it now i i like the editing of the video i like to see your rooms and i like to also give it uh, well, the attention and, and the time that it deserves. So if you are interested in having your system um, shown on the audiophile barista, well, make sure to send me uh, a message on the audiophilebarista.com. And tonight I am going to upload the video from Ronald's uh, system. He has a very interesting, a very tiny room, just like what I have uh, downstairs. And um, he has two complete setups in that tiny little room, plus a big uh, computer setup. So make sure to watch uh, uh, tonight and let me know if this is a concept that you like, in, uh, that you like me to do and let me know if you want to have your video uh, featured on the audiophile barista so as you can see this is still turning after 11 minutes well this morning it took uh, 15 minutes to stop and but i am going to finish this vlog i think i made my point this um can you see that over there that is a magnetic bearing those two round discs are magnets that's what the platter is floating on of course in the middle you have the the, the spindle this is a ceramic spindle so also very smooth with the least amount of friction and I don't know what your record player is, but I don't believe I've ever seen other than magnetic uh, bearings to take more than 12 minutes, let's say 15 minutes to come to a full stop. Um, and that's something that I wanted to show you. Okay. I ran out of things to say for today. If you have any ideas for the upcoming vlogs up until 20th of May, um, well, I could use your help. I could appreci I appreciate any input uh, that you have. Make sure to watch the video uh, tonight. And for now, I say thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.